Hello. Hello. Sir, this is Niles. He's going to help you get into bed. He's a nurse here. Hello, Lindsay. My name is Jonah. I'm the ER nurse. What can you tell me about our patient? Hi, Jonah. This is Mateo. He is 51 years old, um, and he is brought in today by EMS. Um, he went to bed last night, uh, unknown time, approximately 10-ish. Um, after he did have dinner last night, he is a known type 1 diabetic. Um, his family was unable to wake him up this morning from bed, difficult to arouse. Um, so they called 911 upon arrival. Um, he was found to be uh, semi-conscious, laying in bed. He had a blood pressure of 110 over 82, a heart rate of 96. He's 98% on the amount of respirations are 14, and a blood sugar of 41. What was that? Blood sugar of 41. Okay. In the field, he did get one tube of oral glucose, which I is, I believe is 25 grams. One tube oral oh. glucose, he has 25 no, grams? Correct. He has no allergies and no other complaints at this time. Okay. Was he assessed for stroke by any chance? He was assessed for stroke negative fast exam. Negative fast exam. No is temperature there? that I am aware of. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me? Um, no, not today. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll take it from here. Bye, Mateo. Feel better, okay? So far, I've established he's alert only two times two. He knows his name as well as where he is. Uh, I've also put on the SPF2 monitor and waited to see his heart rate as well as his O2 stat. Great. So, what do we do? We have an O2 um, stat yet? So you have an O2 sat like 90 and a pulse. Of What's the an O2? Okay, we'll call that an O2 saturation of 96. So really oxygen is not indicated at this time. Um, but if your O2 saturation was too low, then we would uh, we would consider getting that. So Mateo, I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Um, my my partner here is gonna get vital signs to look at how how your body's working to see if we can help you start feeling more normal. Mateo, can you tell me what your name is? Full name. M Mateo Maestas. Okay, Mateo, do you know where you are right now? Uh, the uh, hospital. Okay, good. Do you know what time it is, roughly? Do you have a watch? No, you gotta go off of your uh, off of your memory. Uh, no, no. Oh, I. Okay, we got an uh, ano times two. Um, Mateo, are you familiar with diabetes? I am diabetic. You are diabetic? Okay, because we think it might be causing you some problems. Has anyone ever told you about diabetes? Do you understand what, what's happening right now? I don't remember when I ate last night. You don't remember when you ate last night? That's uh, my blood sugar or something? Yeah, so what's going on with your body? Since you're, we've, in your medical records show that you're type 1 diabetic. What this means is that w when you were very, very young, your pancreas and the the, um, the beta cells quit producing insulin. This is a hormone in your body that helps your food create energy in your cells. I know it's pretty complicated, it's wild, but your body does many amazing things that help you feel normal. When your pancreas quit producing insulin, it created a state of what's called hyperglycemia, which is you had too much higher. blood sugar. Higher, higher blood sugar, higher. not where you have oh. right now. I know this doesn't make sense to you right now because you're in altered mental status, but for the sake of a video, I'm going to explain it to you anyway because my partner is getting vital signs. They're going to help support um, our diagnosis that you're probably having a hypoglycemic episode. And then the doctor is going to come in and he's going to get us some medication. In fact, I see the doctor coming in right now. Okay. So it seems like. Yeah, so we're still fully assessing our patient, but um, all in all, he's ANO times two. All other vital signs are normal, but his diabetic. blood glucose diabetic. level is about 51. He's already received um, one tube of oral glucose um, on the ambulance on the way here. His initial VGL blood glucose level was 41. So he's moved up some, but we've established that he's a type 1 diabetic and that um, he hasn't eaten today. Last intake was yesterday. Um, no allergies, uh, no other known medical, um, medical history. Um, and we'll get some more looking at um, alternatives, but 
currently he, he was negative on a fast exam for stroke. Um, and once we get a full assessment, we can give you more information. All right. But uh, we're requesting uh, oral glucose. All right. Well, Mateo, it looks like I'm going to have to diagnose you with hypoglycemia. I'm going to order a uh, oral glucose, 30 grams, stat, and get the guy a sandwich. We'll get him, a, we'll get him the, the glucose, and then we'll get him a, a sandwich stat. All right. Thank you, doctor. So let's, get it, let's finish peanut up with that history. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Are you allergic to peanuts? Not that I'm no. Okay, that's good. So your type one diabetes, Mateo, is because you don't have insulin and you had that hyperglycemic episode, we discovered that you weren't producing insulin. And so I imagine that you have um, a prescription for insulin that you're taking. Are you aware of taking insulin on a regular basis? A shot? Maybe, or you might have an insulin pump. Do you have an insulin pump? Okay, I get you have an insulin right. pump. Right here sometime. Okay, you're taking a sub-Q shot um, to your abdomen. Have you been taking your insulin regularly? I, I don't remember. Because what we're experiencing right now with your blood glucose is that it's low. That means you either haven't eaten enough or you maybe have taken too much insulin. These are two things yes, that are working yesterday together. Yesterday I ate. You ate yesterday, but you, you eat anything this morning? Because we're well into the afternoon now. Oh. What time is it? It is currently 1.41. No. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some glucose on board that's going to raise your blood sugar, and that's going to help your your brain sort of have energy, create more ATP, so we can get you thinking more clearly. Are you giving clearly. me a shot? We're not right now because oh. your airway is, is patent. You're going to have no difficulty taking some gel, which is sort of our indication for oral glucose. But if you are more confused and more attentive than you are, then we might do something like uh, glucagon or IV dextrose. These are options that we can use to treat hypoglycemia. So, Sounds fantastic. Okay. Um, Niles, do you have the, the glucose? Yep. Yep. Brushing my teeth? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, how do you do it, John? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this oral glucose and we're going to put it in your mouth and I want you to sort of mix it with saliva so we're going to get some of the absorption to be buccal which is a little bit quicker. I'm going to need a uh, and a, a, a stick. I need a stick. What's the medical word for stick? Oh, they help me out. Tongue to pressure. Thank you. So we're going to take this. I'm going to put this in your hand. So we're first going to check our um, our six rights, make sure we have the right patient. Right dose, right time, right medication. Thank you very much. And um, we can check our orders as well. Um, what we like about this medication is it has almost no contraindications. Oh. Okay, so um, we can put it in your mouth and you can get you it in your I'm going to let you do it okay. because you got it in your hand. And we can give you a cup of water to help you swallow. Okay, so Niles, um, in five minutes and then again 30 minutes, we want to retake those vital signs and get a third blood glucose to make sure that we're going the right direction. So we're going to reassess um, and make sure that, that your altered mental status is supposed is to. I'm productive. starting to feel a little better. It's very fast acting. Great. Because some, some glucose, though it's debated, can be absorbed um, buccally, but it's mostly being absorbed. Um, absorbed. In, in, the, in the stomach and blood. Do you have any questions for us? No, I feel much better already. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, Niles, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check other causations for altered mental status. We're gonna do a full physical exam and get a more thorough medical history. Sounds good. All right.